Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. In the last episode you seen guys like MCW, Tony Roten, and even a few other guys from our team go off on the Charlotte Bobcats. But I think I have played enough games up until now to get this 19 wins at home uh, goal by the owner. Now we are currently 23 and 24. We are one game away from being at 500. I've played my behind off in this my GM and I think it's time for me to start getting the simming down. So we are in February, you know, All-Star Weekend is coming up and I think I'm about to skip that. We're about to just go on ahead and move into March and see how things go. Now, I've did all the calculations up until March 19th. If I simulate through this date and we don't get enough home wins, like if we go on like a bad skid, I can play from there and then we can actually get those games back. Now, I've just uh, got some news that, you know, All-Star Weekend is coming up. If we want to trade any players, the time is to do it now. But I think with the roster that we have, um, we don't have anybody that's worth anything. So, you know, um, the only players we got worth anything is Nerlens Noel and uh, Michael Carter-Williams that are probably like maybe a star and a half or two stars on the trade block. But uh, Tony Rowan is uh, fully recovered and it's time to get him back into the lineup. Let's go. All right, so the Portland Trailblazers has called my phone and decided, hey, we'll take Byron Mullins off your hands for Myers Leonard, and you know we'll give you the 2014 first round draft pick. Now, Byron Mullins really doesn't get that much burn on my team, as well as him being 24 and only being a 66 overall. I think with Myers Leonard, he's only a 59 overall, but he's 21, so that gives me three years to make him from a 59 overall to a 66 overall, in which I think I might be able to do. So I do go into the deal. Looks fantastic, you know? So uh, let's move on to the next call. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the Hawks have been hounding my phone. They want Nerlens Noel and Elliot Williams for Elton Brand in the 2014 Hawks first round draft pick. I think I'm going to have to decline that. I am not giving up Nerlens Noel. And the funny thing is, he's not even a 71 overall anymore. He's almost on his way to an 80 overall, so I'm definitely not going to give him up. And Elliot Williams, he's a good backup coming off the bench. He's not even a 61 overall anymore. He's probably like a 76 overall right now. And his three shot is deadly, so I'm not going to give him up. Now, uh, they're talking about All-Star Weekend right now. I wanted to know if I'm going to do anything big. And I'm not going to make anything, man. We're going to continue with simulation. All right, it looks like the Houston Rockets want my boy James Anderson. He's not a 67 overall anymore. He's probably about a 74 overall. And his three-point shot is literally like one of the best shots in the game. So I'm not going to give him up to a 62 overall in a first-round draft pick. I'm going to keep James Anderson because him off the bench, he can't be stopped. He's like literally I can score nine points in like maybe – Give me about 40 seconds, literally. You know, we come down, shoot the tray, go back on defense, get a stop, shoot another tray. If the other team scores, we get another tray. Man, James Anderson, he puts points on the board, man. I'm just going to have to put it like that. He's a deadly three-point shooter, so I'm not going to give him up to anybody. Now, uh, I was looking at, you know, the Houston Rockets first round draft pick and it sucks because I don't think you can do this in my GM. I don't think you can look at, you know, what pick they actually have. So, you know, it kind of, you know, ticked me off a little bit. Now, uh, I'm looking at the things, you know, I have to make sure that, you know, any if any pending trades are happening, but check this out. Um, I traded something for a first round pick. Uh, my goal is completed. The owner is pretty happy with what I'm doing out here, you know, um, and my assistant GM is talking to me about contract extensions. So I'm like, ah, you know what? Let me try this out. Let me see if I can stop the simulation and see who I can extend the contract to. Now, I'm going to sit up here and spoil the news, but 
the funny thing was my assistant GM came up to me and said hey you know contract extensions are gonna come up and we want to know if you want to make any moves and I'm like okay cool so I go to the front office and I check out the players that are eligible and guess what we have nobody that is eligible for a contract extension so come to find out my assistant GM is out here giving me bad information making me stop the simulation he is fired I'm gonna fire him the first chance I get that's his own fault he did that to himself he should stop giving me this misinformation but it's all good because we are going to keep going on with the uh simulation to march 19th like i told you guys if i simulate through that date and i don't get 19 wins at home it's cool but check this out he said that the deadline for contract extensions are here and now that i know this i don't want to stop the simulation because i can continue through it but what I can tell you guys is that I did meet the goal for the owner. I won 19 home games. It feels good. Now, they asked me as my first season as a GM starting to wind down, what are my thoughts on the owner regarding to his ambitions and goals? And I'm like, he's great. This is a this is a great choice, man. I've made it to a great team. I'm uh, At Sam Hankey, I couldn't do any better, you know? But uh, this is IKC signing out. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.